It's Monday the 13th. We left Bear Garden Hostel. Had a great time there. Spent time with uh, a couple noble hikers that we have been seeing the last few days along the trail. Weatherman and Eisenberg. We are heading to Nob. Not Nob, but uh, another shelter. I can't remember the name now. A little over Chestnut 11. Something. Chestnut, Chestnut Nob. Or something. Chestnut Nob shelter. Chestnut Nob, a little over 11 miles. It's an enclosed shelter. We want to check it out and stay there. That's the blue blaze there. Is there a white blaze over here somewhere? Over there, I think. Right? Maybe. Yeah, we have to cross that little bridge over there. It's supposed to be cold today. A little bit of rain and snow in the forecast. Can't remember the lowest temp expected tonight, but we should be all right. So if you didn't go to the Bear Garden Hostel, you would have come out here and the trail is up here. We have to climb the stairs and it's supposed to be, I think a couple of miles according to the hostel owner. That's how long this hike up is going to be. So we'll try to uh, take some videos for you on our way to Chestnut Lab Shelter. So we're passing this uh, shelter here. I think this is the Not Mall shelter. They have privy here. Oh. Decent looking. Looks like water is going that way and ATs that way. But we're gonna go ahead and stop here and check this place out. We're not staying here. No, we're not staying here. We're just stopping to check it out. It's a decent looking shelter. It looks clean. You want to check the the log book? Yeah. Anyway, so it's actually a really nice day today. Um, What's the temp? What's the temp say on my bag? Temperature said 37. Yeah. Yeah. It was 39 when we were up there, but yeah. It's not bad. Not bad at all. There was a little bit of snow, but not too bad. I actually took up my raincoat because I was getting warm up the hill. I'm gonna show you the privy for the not mall shelter. Not. Oh, look at that. It's up. So, this is their privy here. Doesn't have a door, but hey, you can't be choosy. It's starting to snow a little bit and the temperature is coming down in 2.5 miles. We're going to come across the Lick Creek and we have to wade through the creek because the bridge is no longer there. We don't know how high the water is, but it will be an exciting crossing because it's going to be cold my feet and legs will probably not like it but i'm sure the cold will be helpful for these feet so i'll try to film it so people have an idea how high the water is it's a little slick on this bridge so be careful okay Slippery. Still looking for fish? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff is always looking for fish every time we cross a body of water. It's the mountain we have to climb and it looks like it's snowing up there. Is it gonna be a fun climb? 
this is their notice about the bridge. I think this has been without a bridge since 2020. So we'll go look. We're gonna have to navigate. Looks like Heisenberg and weatherman are on the other side. Okay, that used to be the ridge. Looks to be. I will. It's really not deep though. No. No, it's my turn to cross. I forgot to film Jeff, but this is what it looks like. I'm not going to wear my slippers. Blasphemy, blasphemy, it's cold. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm going to be numb by the time I get there. <laughs> Sensation? <laughs> yeah. Nice, I can't imagine though, if, if this has a lot of water, how dangerous it can be. So that was uh, not too bad at all. I was kind of worried that it will be difficult, but no problem crossing that at all. There's so many random things along this trail. They have a trash bin in here. Hey. I imagine they probably emptied that trash bin um, quite often because it's close to the road. It's not a very secured trash bin though. But lots of trash in there. Um, people who appreciate it. So the weather can't decide what it wants to do. It was starting to snow earlier and then it stopped. And then the sun almost looked like it was gonna show up. And then it started to snow again. And uh, we're climbing up this mountain, getting close to the chestnut knob shelter.
Uh, a note to anyone who's planning to stay at the Chestnut Nub Shelter, the water source closer to the shelter supposed to be um, closest is unreliable. We had to <laughs> create a dam here so we can collect some water. But there was supposed to be a pipe spring here and the pipe spring's gone. So you will probably be better off carrying water to the shelter, I think the one coming up is 1.8 miles from here, right? Yeah, the one yeah. the one coming northbound is 1.8 miles, and if you're Sobo, it's like 1.1 miles. 1.1 miles. Yeah, so just take note of that if you're coming here. This water here, and you will see the sign uh, in the corner that says water this way, but don't rely on this. So you will come up to this sign right here, somebody handwritten water pointing that way and uh, not a good source of water. Unless you build a dam. Yeah. <laughs> so bring your own water up here. So we are currently inside the Chestnut Knob Shelter. We kind of got situated here. It's snowing outside and it's windy. But um, we are here, we're the only ones here, of course. And we pretty much <laughs> occupy the whole place here. <laughs> we have our bags in there. I open our umbrellas. But there's some snow blowing from the roof on the side so we put our tarp right here so no snow will get in our bed area but our beds are here got it all set up and we're getting ready to eat dinner I have some ramen and I think Jeff's having some leftovers yeah, it's actually uh, nice in here. It's not too bad. You know, we don't have to worry about the wind. It's cold, but it's tolerable, and we have uh, things to keep us warm. So we're going to spend the night here. And we have uh, an imaginary fireplace right there. Good morning, so it's now Tuesday, early in the morning, and um, here at Chester, uh, Chestnut Nub Shelter, I'm sure you can hear all the wind blowing outside, but yeah, the uh, open snow... Open the door, see what it looks like. I will open it in a little bit. <laughs> I really don't want to go out there. Just imagine a potty break out there. But uh, the snow is also here inside, blows inside the shelter. And um, you can see it on our tarp. But anyway, I'm going to brace myself and open the door. And yes, there's there's mice here. So. There you go. Beautiful, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna close it now. We're gonna get ready and, um, we're gonna hike 15 miles today. We're gonna hike 15 miles, get picked up by a shuttle to go to Weary Feet for the night. I think it would be a good idea to hunker down somewhere. But it will be interesting to see what the trail looks like going down to the gap we're going to be picked up at. 
may even put an umbrella there because the, the snow is blowing a little bit on our heads. See, there's even uh, some snow on our food bag and it was hanging inside the shelter. Okay, well, we survived the night and we are heading out. So we'll see what it looks so, like outside. So we'll tap here on this hmm? real quick. Okay. My tap right now, it's raised, it went up a little bit. The temperature is 24. 24 already? Yeah. Feels warm, isn't it? <laughs> oh, don't forget this. I have to put that in my pack. Yeah. I almost forgot our sea knock. Water last night had been a challenge. <laughs> Look at it's frozen. Nice and crisp. Okay, well, it's like a... Uh, All right, let's see if we can get out there in the snow tornadoes. <laughs> snow tornado, woo-wee! Can't even open the door. <laughs> Got a little drip here. Yep. It's all right. We have a little drip and drip. All right, we gotta get warm. Ooh, that's cold. Well, I wanna take a video of the... Uh, it's supposed to be a really nice video down there. That's or a view. Burke's Garden. Where it was supposed to be the... I saw it last night. The thumbprint. That's it right there. It's just a depression. Oh. All the way around there. Well, I can't see it. <laughs> anyway, getting down this mountain is this way. Oh, look at the tornado things. <laughs> Dude, that's not, it's just blowing. Hey, see, if it, see where the tip is now. I just wonder if there's any different shelter. Now he's saying 23. Okay, so Can you hold the camera for me? So, um, go ahead, put the camera on me. So today, just what we're wearing, so on the outside, just had the uh, shell, then I have a light bit of equipment, um, tour jacket, and then just a base layer. And then my pants and rain pants. And just the shoulder gloves, and inside the shoulder gloves, we have hot hands. So then Marley, tell them what you got on. But I have all my clothing on. <laughs> you don't have it all on because we still have a, a puffy that we're, we have in reserve. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I took my puffy pants because it's just for sleeping. But I have my base layer pants, my hiking pants, and my rain pants. And um, I have my hiking shirt, my base layer, the lightning equipment. The lightning equipment. Tour. my rain jacket. Yeah. And, and I have hot hands. Hot hands. We don't have no hot feet though. Yeah. Marley used them all up. And um, I'm probably gonna, woo, I'm <laughs> probably gonna take off some of my layers later when we go uphill, but a lot of downhill. Today we got a lot of downhill, so yeah. we started out a little warmer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can do this off freezing ourselves. Okay. Is out though. <laughs> we could have used our uh, gators in this. Yep. Yeah, this should. This would have been a gator kind of day. But no. I'm wearing my seal skin socks though. This has to be the the most snow we have gotten. This is so absolutely. far. Yeah, it's 
just like all winter just waited until today. <laughs> and it just decided to become winter today. Let me see what the temp is now. It's 20. Okay. Well, that's just a little bit warmer than it is out here. 